Hi, today we're going to learn three tips from Spirit through the tarot deck on how to enhance and refine our health. Starting this week, there are always ways we can tweak things, even though some of my friends and my family consider me to be, to, to lead a fairly healthful lifestyle. There's a lot of tweaking I can do. And in fact, one of the my key focuses right now is going through this book and among other books, but this is what I'm focusing on right now. The Blue Zones Challenge, a lifestyle design inspired by the world's longest lived people by Dan Buettner. And I will say a lot of great information in here about exercise, nutrition, especially, and mindset and community, having friends, etc. how that all contributes to living long and living well. And that's really important. And if you ever happen to see Dan Buettner on video, and if you're female, you might, and you're single, you might appreciate his very aesthetically appealing, uh, per, well, his appealing personality and appealing appearance. But I digress with that. So I recommend that book. And the theme song is Life is Life. I think it's a 1980s song that I discovered only a few years ago very lively and it just reinforces the whole theme of living life actively and fully and vibrantly. I will turn the camera down. Let's choose three cards. Let's see what three insights spirit can give us for this week on how to be vibrant, how to shine, how to improve our health. Card number one, Two of coins, card number two, nine of wands, and card number three, the hermit. Let's look at these. All right, well, we've got the two of coins or two of pentacles. Pentacles relate to the body, the physical realm, material realm. They can represent finances, but we're not asking about finances in this particular case. Physical body, health represent that, and time resources. And I would say that if we're asking the question, how can we improve our health and what can we start this week to refine our habits and lead to good habits, it is a bit of a balancing act. We see here this individual, he almost appears to be dancing a jig. He's on a, almost like a stage platform. Behind him are turbulent seas up and down and the boats are up and down, rising with the waves, and he is juggling, it appears, these two coins. So we get the idea of a balancing act. And I would say that, yes, indeed, if you are focusing on enhancing your health, fine-tuning your habits, that it will require some balancing of, balancing of choices, options, different things to look at. You have to balance as far as you have to incorporate movement, focus on food, wise food choices. And also what Dan Buettner addresses as well is time for friends and family, time for the idea of community, that socialization is really important. So point number one from Spirit to start out this week at, is to look at your life and see how you can better balance these different facets of your life so that you can really enhance and optimize your health. I think that's the key message I'm getting from that. Now, the next card is the Nine of Wands. The In this particular image, we see this individual, looks like he's been through some kind of a brawl or a battle. He's got a bandage over his head. And what always is jumping out at me about this particular image is that he's looking quite wary, like askance, distrustful. Now, how does this relate to the idea of enhancing your health and, and fine tuning your habits? Well, I would say that, well, the wands relate to, pas to that passion energy and purpose energy. And I would say that it suggests to me that one area of challenge that you may have had that you need to move away from because the nine is the number of it's the completion of a cycle 
is to move away from the area of anything that's troubled you in the past because of course stress also compromises your health. It's one of the biggest factors in creating disease and getting because of dis-ease, being ill at ease. So I would say that number nine reminds us end of a cycle to fine tune, refine your health habits is to let go, release any past angst, regrets, mistrust that you may have had because of previous situations that were difficult, battles, brawls, whatever they may have been, emotional or physical, that that's really important in moving forward and growing. And we see these wands. I mean, what's always impressive about the wands is that typically in the, in the tarot, they have these green leaves jutting out from them, suggesting growth. So to keep growing and enhancing your health, even if you feel like you've been wounded in some areas of your life, you've had difficulties, is realize that a cycle, let go of that cycle, of that particular, of those situations, so that you can move forward. Just let it go, move forward. Don't look in the past, don't rely on the past, or not rely, don't focus on the past and get mired in it and get stuck in it. Let it go. I would say that's the core message of the Nine of Wands. And then finally, how to enhance your health, refine your habits. The Hermit Reverse. Now when upright, oops, <laughs> dropping in this card here. When upright, the Hermit, of course, it's a major arcana card, also card number nine, suggesting the end of a cycle. Well, we see the, this individual is a wise man, older man. He's got the long gray, white beard. His eyes are closed, almost appears he's turning inward, but he also has a lantern that he's shining on the area below him. And so he can be an enlightened being. Given that this is reversed, it's suggesting to me that to enhance your health and to refine your habits that can lead to health is to turn, especially really intensify turning within and taking time to be still, taking time to meditate. That quiet time is really important for relaxing, slowing down the body so at night you can sleep well, you can restore your body, you can, your cells can regenerate. That is important. So I would say, because the question I asked was how we can enhance our habits and refine them with the Hermit Reverse suggested me to intensely look at, turn within, and look at how you can take time to be quiet. Meditation is an important thing. Now, everyone, not everyone is likes traditional types of meditation where maybe you're seated and you're closing your eyes and perhaps focusing on your breath and turning within. Some, turning within. some people prefer a more active or might like to do a slow walk and meditate. Some people do, what's that called? <laughs> now, they just escape my mind, the name of it. Um, they may just want to get out on the water or whatever. It just something that is very calming and quieting to the mind, even if it's a physical activity, that allows you to turn within. That is also important for your health and refining your health and increasing your health span as well as your lifespan. Well, let me see if anything else comes to mind here. Those are the key points. We've got two nines and then one two. But in short, it's important to take time to figure out how you can balance the variety of aspects of your life to enhance your health, taking time to, you know, exercise, to move, to focus on your nutrition, and then to leave the past behind, especially stresses, battles you've been through, and then finally turn within to calm yourself and quiet yourself so that you can regenerate yourself, so that you can restore your internal organs, etc. 
I hope this reading has been helpful for you. If you've not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. And until next time, remember, illumine your mind, inspire your life with tarot.